you're much more likely to get your order protection approved, like I did, and get your abuser sent to the prosecutor. What's a tool that every domestic violence advocate should have in their toolbox? I'll show you by the end of the video. But first, hear my story of survival and redemption. In 2016, I won the best Hispanic entrepreneur of the year in Arizona for launching and selling a mobile application. Here I am on the cover of the Phoenix Business Journal with my co-founder. So I am a tech entrepreneur and things were looking great. Buenísimo. Fast forward a couple years and I let someone into my life that I shouldn't have. It's extremely embarrassing, muchísima vergüenza, to share that I've been a victim of domestic violence. Here you see a picture. Thankfully, I managed to survive and I took swift legal action against my abuser and achieved success. I developed a formula plus a free tool. Always lead with the statute followed by supporting evidence. Statute, supporting evidence, statute, supporting evidence. A statute is simply a criminal code associated with the abuse. The problem is that most victims cannot follow this formula because most victims can't afford a criminal attorney. Until now. Introducing StatuteMatcher.com For free, and while maintaining complete anonymity, you never have to share your name or any addresses, advocates and victims can input in conversational terms the abuse that they suffered and artificial intelligence will match the abuse with the potential statutes that may have been violated. And it even gives you hyperlinks for the statutes so you can read them in detail. If you then match the statutes with the evidence that you have, you basically win the battle. You're much more likely to get your order protection approved, like I did, and get your abuser sent to the prosecutor. Let's go over an example. I'll show you how to use this tool. So let's say that I am an advocate and this is an intake call. Yes, you're in a safe place. Okay, tell me a little bit more about the abuse that you went through. Notice how I'm never gonna input the person's name or address is completely anonymous. Okay, so a girl followed you on Instagram and when you got home, your wife destroyed two of your Nike shoes, okay? And she took your car keys and wouldn't let you leave the house. She also put a GPS tracker in your car and it made you feel threatened and unsafe. Now watch this, artificial intelligence, this is unbelievable. It's thinking, processing what you gave it. And the first thing it's gonna ask you and the only thing is uh, the state, you need to know the state to, to be able to match with the laws. So Arizona. absolutely magic so notice how it's matching the potential statutes with the actual hyperlinks to the letter of the law and I also know that legal advocates cannot give legal advice so I included this little blurb that's word for word given to me by a supervisor, a domestic legal advocate. So this is a disclaimer that you can see over the phone. I cannot give you legal advice. If any of these statutes apply to the situation, you can list them for your own records. But I cannot tell you which statutes apply. This is absolutely magnificent. It's going to change the way domestic violence is fought. It's a game changer that gives the people the power that they need to fight their abusers with the letter of the law. And I hope that everyone can help me disseminate this information and get it to the decision makers. Really, for the love of God, the, the keys to be able to use this technology lies in the hands of the decision makers at advocate agencies. I've already spoke with four different advocates from four different agencies, and they will love to have this tool. They automatically saw the value but there's a process that we have to follow. It goes from the top down. And I also wanted to mention that the Mayo Clinic 
the number one Mayo Clinic is the cream of the crop when it comes to medicine, they have already incorporated artificial intelligence to their systems. So this is something that industry leaders have already started. And every day that passes by, cases are falling, are falling through the cracks. If you approach the police detectives and judges, knowing the laws with the formula I gave you, statutes followed by evidence, and you hold your ground and you, you present the evidence supporting the statutes, good things are going to happen for you. You don't want to leave the statute matching to other humans who are susceptible to human error like the rest of us. You have to be your own most zealous advocate when it comes to this fight. And I know this personally. And waiting and expecting victims to use the tool themselves, yes, they can. But as a victim myself, I can tell you that when you're a victim of domestic violence, you are in the eye of the storm. And it is not a moment to hop on a computer and try to start statute matching. Your mind is in survival mode. Every day, you're not, you are not you don't know if you're going to survive one day. So that's why this tool is primarily targeted. The target audience is the advocates, the people that do the intake calls. This is where the most impact could be made. And part of advocacy is using the tools and resources to help the victims. So I hope that we can have a sense of urgency now that you know that this tool exists, that we make an emergency meeting between the directors and decision makers at advocacy agencies. And for the love of God, we can get this started as soon as we can emergency meeting on Monday morning and show everyone this video to see how we can start getting it implemented. I am willing to work with the agencies and uh, for their feedback. So head on over to statutematcher.com for any privacy policies, frequent asked questions, and how to get started. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for?